got another video for the titrations walkthrough playlist so we're up to number nine now and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribed why don't you subscribe okay so make a start so the first thing we'll do is pop the um, titra results in the table so we're just taking the initial burette reading away from the final so there they are there you'll see i've highlighted that zero there because the number of times i would mark exam papers and that's missing you wouldn't believe so that has to be there so there's the numbers there and now we've just got to decide what the student should use for the mean titra well remember you never ever use the trial so we're looking for concordant results for these three accurate titrations so we're looking for results that are within 0 0.10 of each other so it's one and three so the mean's obviously 22.50 don't forget that zero so we're moving on to the calculation now so the first thing we'll do is work out the moles of potassium hydroxide used in the titration so that's concentration times volume remember the volume has got to be in decimeters cubed so 1.35 times 10 to the minus 3 so we now apply the mole ratio in the equation to work out how many moles of acid must have been present in the 10 centimeters cubed used in the titration so that comes out at 6.75 times 10 to the minus 4 from the 2 to 1 ratio Next thing we'll do is work out how many moles of acid are in the original 250 cm cubed solution. So to scale up from 10 to 250, we obviously multiply the moles in 10 by 25. So we get that many moles in the 250 cm cubed solution. And remember, that came from four tablets. So we now need to work out the moles in one tablet. So that comes out to that many moles. So all we need to do now is multiply by the MR. And that's going to give us the mass in grams, which comes out at 0.4978 grams. We need to put that into milligrams and give it the three significant figures. So we multiply by 1,000 to get it into milligrams. So it's going to be 498 to three significant figures.